everybody, how's it going? Daniel here. Today we are taking a look at the new Apple Watch Series 7. We're going to take a look at all the colors this year and we're going to go ahead and get started with the kind of the flagship color that Apple is advertising, which is that new green color. Now this watch retails for $429 because this is the 45 millimeter. If you get the 41 millimeter, that's going to be $400. So a $30 difference. If you do opt for the cellular versions, those are going to be $100 more uh, for each variant. So here, let's go ahead and open it up. I'm not sure what band we have on this, but here we have the box for the actual watch. And then we have a separate box for the band. So we have a solo loop band right here in the clover color. So all green. Let's put this to one side here and let's go ahead and get right into this. Let's open this band here. Let's just remove that little plastic thingy and let's remove the uh, plastic things here as well or kind of paper here. And yeah, what's new with this watch? Not that much. Honestly, I was expecting a much bigger upgrade this year, but it is nice that we do have a larger display. Apple is claiming this is 20% more screen area, which is uh, definitely going to come in handy because 20% at this small size does make a big difference. They're also kind of, ooh, wait one second, this comes green. Now I'm wondering if every color is gonna get its own colored sleeve. It's not important obviously, but it is a nice little detail right there that it is green. Looks really cool. Let's just remove this from the sleeve here and uh, check out the color and do a first impressions here because I am curious as to how bright this color was gonna be, how much it was gonna look like space gray or black. And I gotta tell you, like first impressions just here from a distance where I am, it looks like a black color. So I think that's actually quite a good thing because it'll match with more bands. If this is a really bright green, you're gonna lose the fact that it's not gonna match with a lot of bands. So I actually quite do like it. I feel like some people are gonna be disappointed by it, expecting a slightly more green. It's definitely a lot darker than what Apple's advertising. And let me just get a closer look at it here myself. I'm just gonna look at it for a couple seconds. All right, so what do I have to say about this color? Well, I actually really, really like it. And this is probably the one that I'm gonna end up getting. I didn't order this one for myself because I actually thought I wasn't gonna like it. And it was just kind of an effect of that the Sierra Blue iPhone had on me. I didn't like that on first impressions when I opened it. So I was like, I'm probably not gonna like this green, but I actually do like how toned down it is. And uh, the shine that it has actually looks very nice. I thought it might look cheap once it was in my hands, but it looks very, very nice and classy. It's just a really nice little pop of color and actually looks quite similar to like space gray. So here we put space gray next to it. You can see that. I think once you put the space gray next to it, you can really tell that green color and you can see that green color pop. The difference right there I think helps with uh, seeing that green. It is nice that the ring around it is also tinted green right there. It's very slight, but it is there. It's tinted green very slightly. I wish that was the case for the cellular versions as well, but unfortunately it's not. And here I actually did unbox one of the midnight uh, watches just because I don't want you to have to watch another video if you wanted to see midnight versus green. I got two of these by mistake, so I thought I'll open one of these and just be able to compare them here. So this is how the midnight looks this year, or I mean the black version of the watch looks this year because they did get rid of the space gray here. Let me put them maybe like this so you can see that. You can see the color and then let me get the space gray one here and you can kind of see the difference. So we got the green midnight and then last year's space gray cellular version. So hopefully that kind of helps you decide if you are a fan of the darker colored watches and something that doesn't stand out too much. The green is definitely very subtle. So now real quick, let's see what else is in the box because we do get something different this year. Not in here, I, th I don't think there's anything special in here, it just says Apple Watch. And do we get a sticker? Probably not. No, we don't have a sticker in here, but we are gonna get a fast charger. So this is supposedly gonna charge your watch 33% faster. So let's open this and see here. So it's actually a USB-C end. So you just plug that into your iPad charger or your new iPhone charger. No, actually not your new iPhone charger. You don't get that block. So just a fast charging block and it's gonna charge your watch faster. And I'm curious to see how fast that is because the watch already charges plenty fast since it is a very small battery. So that is new, quite nice. You're not gonna be able to fast charge your old watch or anything like that. That's only gonna work with this new watch. And uh, 
old watch chargers aren't gonna fast charge this watch. You do have to use this cable right here. Now, other things to note is that the actual screen here or the crystal that Apple makes is more crack resistant, which is actually a really, really good thing because I've cracked these watches in the past and it is not a great thing. The whole thing just comes apart and starts just crumbling into pieces. So it is nice that they did improve that glass. And here is the Clover watch band in case you wanna see that, if you're getting that for yourself. Definitely, you can see the difference in the green color here between the actual watch and the watch band. So let me slide this on here. There we go. And you can see that there. The loop green, very, very nice watch band color. Really like that. And it goes nicely with the green because the green isn't too green and so it's a very subtle green. Now I'm wondering here, if we put a crazy watch band color, is that gonna look way too off? So here are two watch bands that I have like from Amazon that I bought and let's go ahead and try on like a blue watch band, right? If you like blue and just for one day you wanna wear blue for the pool or something like that, can you still do that with this green watch? Well, let's go ahead and see. I'm pretty sure I put this on the wrong way. Oh, well, let's just, is it gonna fly off? No, it's not gonna fly off, we're good. So let's see, is it super noticeable? Honestly, you're good. I think people are gonna be like, oh, he's wearing a green watch with a blue band or something like that. It's gonna fit perfectly. You're gonna be able to wear red bands and any color band. I think that's a really good thing. Mostly you are gonna know that you have the green watch and that's really cool. I actually wish I would have ordered it myself because now I'm gonna have to wait a really, really long time to get my hands on one of these. But if you got the green, I think overall, really good choice unless you were expecting, you know, a really vibrant green or something more like what Apple's showing in their advertising, which I really don't believe this to be that. Now, just because I have it here, let's try on this other band and that'll pretty much conclude the video. And uh, we'll get to unboxing all of the other colors here because they also got rid of the silver and they are now doing starlight instead. So we'll see how that looks. So let's just right there that I have it. You can see the green with like a white band and colors there. Looks perfectly fine, looks good. Looks very much like just a the midnight watch or a black watch or space gray watch. I don't think people will really notice. So I personally like that because I don't want it to be this green color that pops and like if I'm riding a subway or something like that and then someone can tell that it's the latest and greatest Apple watch or something. I do like it when it's toned down and it's not super noticeable. So yeah, in case you're curious, you are gonna get new watch faces for this watch because the screen is definitely larger. And when I say larger, I mean, it is noticeably larger. So here we have the new one and the old one. If we go here to the apps menu, you can just kind of get a feel there for how much more screen you get with the new one. Maybe it doesn't translate on video. I don't know if it really does or it doesn't, but here I'm just trying to give you an idea. I got to tell you like in person and putting this on your actual wrist, it is noticeably different and it's really nice. I like it because you don't have to squint as much. You can see everything much better. You do now have the ability to use a keyboard on this new one, which works okay here. If I go to a text message, let me see here. All right, here we go. So here on this message from Twitter, we can tap on text and then the keyboard's gonna pop up and we can say, okay, thanks. Oops, nope, that didn't work that well. So let's go back, thanks. Nope, that didn't work again. Thanks, nope, thanks, nope, and it failed again. All right. Well, I mean, it's not my fault. This is actually just how it's gonna be when using it because it is very small. That's why Apple didn't put it on all the other ones. So, okay, and then there it goes again. Okay. So it simply does not wanna work here. Let's try it again. Okay. Thanks. And then exclamation point. Let's find it here. Perfect, sent. So, I mean, it is gonna work in a pinch. It's not gonna be the easiest thing to use, but it does work. And of course you can tap, let's see, every letter. That's probably easier than swiping. Um, yeah, I think that's honestly easier. It does really good at predicting what you're clicking. So it does work really well and it is a nice little feature there. So there you have it. This is the Apple Watch Series 7. 
in the new green color. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.